Hey, hey, Big Dave, the Middle-Aged Gamer, here with another episode of Starfield. We are at the basement of the lodge, and I'm playing with all the workbenches just to see if there's anything I can actually tinker with. And with my suppressed Eon, I came across this, where I can actually improve... ...my magazine on my Eon. A lighter mag that vastly increases aim dawn, down sight speed, and reload speed. Sounds like a plan. Better than just a regular old magazine, so yeah, let's do it. Oh, that should give your weapon a bit more punch. And yeah, that's all I got there. Can't do anything here. Well, that's all I can do for that, and I'm perfectly fine with that. It's something. All right, let's see what we can do with my suit. And nothing here. Definitely nothing here. And we're just going to go through these one at a time, see if we can do anything. Yeah, I really can't do anything with these. Alright, worth a shot. There's the industrial workbench. I already looked at the cooking station up in the kitchen. Let's look at the pharmaceutical lab. I can make some infused bandages. Bandages saturated with heal paste used for treating afflictions. Treats burns, contusions, frostbite, lacerations, and puncture wounds. I'm actually in pretty good shape on eight, so I'm not going to screw around with that for now. But the research lab. We're going to see if we need to do anything, that, if we can do anything. Uh, we're still stuck on metabolic agent. And we're just going to go down one step at a time. What are we needing? Some water, which we don't have. Mixology, we're missing spice, which we don't have. Whoop. Yeah. Actually, what we're going to do is we are going to... That's not what I wanted. Go to our aid. There it is, Synapse Alpha. All right, let's try this again. Food and drink. 
Old Earth Cuisine. Alright. We got the meat completed and we got, well, some of the bread. Okay. Alright. I call that taking where we can get our grubby little paws on. Yeah, the only thing we could work on right now is decoration one, and we can't even do that. Some of these things we can't do because we don't have the proper perks. Alright, looking at an equipment. We're still working on helmet mods. And we need cosmetic and polymer, which we have not found anything of the sort. And looking at weapons, we're as good as it gets. Until... We get our hands on some weapon engineering uh, perks. So, all we were able to do is extend food and drink, and that's fine. And until we get our hands on more... Goodies. Yeah, we're not really doing much there. And we need a point in chemistry to advance medical treatment, but, you know, we could still do performance enhancement. So, I mean, we do what we can when we can. Hmm. I think we already have one in our ship stores. Alright, so... Let's let our oxygen replenish. Alright, now we get to put up the rest of our junk, which in this case is just our resources. Okay, so now we're going to get out of here. We're going to temporarily get back to our ship. And yes, I'm sprinting. Now you can see why. Fast travel back to the ship. So we can put up our ship parts. And uh, off camera, I did some selling and some repairs. We'll take a look at that real quick. But we still have, we've got more stuff to do on New Atlantis. So we're going to stay put.
All right, so back to the ship we go. There's a way to access your ship's inventory. I just don't know how to do it. So, we're going to activities. Check out your ship's inventory. Okay, so in the ship. Well, that was fun. Now what? Ah, cargo hold. There we go. And we're just going to put our... Ship parts in there, because that's most of our weight right there. And we're just gonna plop it to the pilot seat real quick, just so we can take a look at our at our uh, ship. We'll see if our hull is in any better shape now, especially after what happened in the last episode. <laughs> Yeah, not one of my more shining moments in gaming history. <laughs> Alright, so... Can't really take a look at anything here. Alright, well... Screw it. We'll do that another time, I guess. But some things did come up while we were gone. Kelton Frush needs to talk to us again. So let's go talk to him. I say this every time, but I don't care. Wally! You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay. No bounty. You're clear. Alright, so we're going to take the gnat to, I believe, Mast. I believe that's where Kelton is located. Near the lodge, if I remember right. Yep. Hopefully, our vanguard will be at Neptune. Insert joke about Uranus here. And yep, there he is. What's going on, Kelton?
Oh, I was hoping we might run into one another again. What Your do you timing need? is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. You never seem to have all the information you need. Uh. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. I don't. Not for sure. It's all a theory, certainly, but it is completely supported by the data and observation, like all good science. It's the best we have to go on right now. I don't understand what that means. It means it is ready to reproduce. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. Well, yeah. We're continuing to see an increase in the strength and frequency of the vibrations, I don't know how much more significant it will become. If there's no response, the tree may vibrate itself and some nearby portion of the city to destruction. Ugh. Now, as of yet, there has been no response, and clearly none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Nice. Short-sighted and ill-advised, in my opinion. Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. Clearly no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. Ah, oh, goddamn. Clever, but no, not necessarily. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. <laughs> I knew you would understand. The All museum right. in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kessler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, off you go. We don't have any time to waste. Okay. So Leah Kessler... Wonderful. The collective and United Colonies authorities appear hesitant to officially clamp down on the Clifton, citing a lack of evidence and the fact that they occasionally still employ the services of the contract company. <laughs> of the settled systems, SSNN. Okay. 
Well, that was interesting. Alright, so we'll see where this leads us, probably back to our ship. Yeah, I had a feeling. Looks like it's Neptune next. Yep, back to the ship. All right. Actually, we're not going to do that just yet. So the other thing we need to do is out of the planet. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. All right, so... Okay, so that's how you get out of there without backing through 4,000 different maps. Good to know. Hey, I'm learning. Slowly. And accidentally. Time to move on. All right. So first, let's get the hell out of here. And... So back into space we go, where no one can hear us scream. <laughs> Okay, our hull is fixed, which is good. And we're going to need a uh, bit of a grav bit there. What the hell was that? Hmm. Oh, well, that doesn't matter right now. What does matter? Is what we need to do. All right, let's look at Bondar. 
mining outpost. Okay. That's all that's there. And a bunch of little planets and moons and all that good stuff. All right, let's zoom back a little bit more. And we know there's stuff to do at Neptune. If we go here, we go show on map. Destination Soul level one. Okay. Curious. Cheyenne is all the way down here. Level one. Okay. If we go here. Designation Denebola, level 30. Bah, ah, I don't think we're ready for that yet. If we go to Voli Alpha, it's level 5. We could do that, but... Oh, right, because... Yeah. Okay, so... We're going to go to Neptune. We do need to get this done. Scan unavailable. Oh boy. Neptune type ice giant, gravity 1.15 G's, not a ridiculous amount. Temperature deep freeze, atmosphere is hydrogen, magnetosphere unknown, fauna, flora, flora and water, none, and resources unknown. All right. All right, let's go. Okay. No, I don't no see it. No time the sights. That could be our vanguard. Ah, there we are. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. If you stop shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. It's not me. Mark's hijacked my ship. White lined a couple of them, but they've lined me down. Really could use an assist. We blow that ship out of the stars. He's dead and our artifact's gone. We're going to have to board. Target the engines. Once they stall out, we'll have our chance. Okay, I think we need to quick save then.
Our grav drive took a little bit of a dump there, but we should be all right. Most hostile ships can be boarded once the ship engines are down. You must fly close to the ship before you'll be allowed to dock. Once you board, expect the crew on the ship to fight back. That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that vanguard. Okay, where's the damn ship? There we go. Only minimal crashing this time. Alright, here we go guys. Lift off when you are, Captain. Okay. I really have no idea where we're going. Hey, food is food. Speaking of which. Some of this stuff we probably should have put up. Oh well. <laughs> the only way to go. Okay. Awfully quiet. Quietly awful.
That's the Porta John. That's a Sarah. You know what? I'm looting the place. Not like we're in the middle of space or nothing. Okay. Okay, I'm obviously missing something here. Okay, where the hell is the frickin' door? Alright, this is obviously not the way to go. Aha, another door. All right, we're going to save. Yeah, it looks like there's one left. Let's do this. Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. Okay, now it says we need to get the key. That's not a key, that's a weapon workbench. So you mean to tell me this whole thing was just an exercise and how to board? Because that's the vibe I'm getting with this. Sentinel's deep mining spacesuit. Ooh. And there's the key.
All right. So let's check out our spacesuit. Okay, 5862 is 120, 66 is 186, so 6937 is 106, 53, okay, not quite as good, but the resistances are better. Has the Beast Hunter liquid cooled and sentinel perks. Beast Hunter, minus 15% damage from alien enemies. Liquid cooled gives you plus 25 thermal resistance, which is nice. And Sentinel plus 70 is a 75% chance to reduce damage by 50% while standing still. Yeah, why not? Okay, so. We'll probably put our weapon away since everybody's dead. Except Moara. And I am banged up, speaking of med packs. to meet whoever you two are. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Ecliptic mercs. They'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. I think enough of them finally got fed up and they pulled their money to hire professionals. <laughs> What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. <laughs> mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? <laughs> oh, that. Yeah, I mean, it's been a mess lately. Spacers, Varun Zealots, plus Ecliptic tracking me down. We ran into a few members of Ecliptic at the Nova Galactic Star Yard. I'm guessing they were after you. Ah, damn. That's probably how they found me. I knew taunting the Spacers to meet me at Neptune was a long shot. Making rookie mistakes. I've been chasing shadows around the solar system for years. And every time I go back to Mars... Sidonia is waiting for you. Run down. Forgotten. Feels like everyone's given up, you know? I've just been spending more and more time in the star field. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really going back. Well, we could get a potential crewman here? Yeah, why not? Yeah? You know, that's actually kind of tempting. I'd have to settle some things back on Sidonia. Maybe hit me up there later. If you don't mind, we came here for something. That strange object you found? Right. Hey, it's yours. Appreciate the rescue. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Alright, well, that was fun. And back into the, back to the ship we go.
All right. So. Okay. All right. Back home. Nice guys, kind of pretty. Anyway, back to the lodge we go. Same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? Hell yeah! I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Yeah. Especially since he kind of uh, stuck our neck, his neck out for us. Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> his mind is always somewhere. 
But there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. <laughs> we maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. You can thank Barrett for that. If he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Mm. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. Yeah. <laughs> it's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. Goodbye. All right. Well, first things first, we got a level. You know what that means. Okay. We have not improved our weightlifting just yet, although we're close. Er. All right. What do I need to do? Pick 15 locks? Okay. Whoop. Let's try that again. Hmm. Well, we're close to unlocking advanced social skills. There's a joke in there somewhere. See, so yeah, that's crafting. Commerce is tempting, but honestly... Credits aren't a big issue right now. Health and stat and oxygen tend to be uh, seem to be the big ones. Uh, let's go with wellness. Increase our maximum health by 10%. And the challenge progress to get the next rank is to heal 200 damage. Sure, why not? All right. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. Yeah, I get you, Noel. Anyway, feel free to help yourself at the bar. It's been ages I don't drink, since Constellation but I feel like if I did, I now would be a good like. time for one. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. <laughs> I'm to the really important stuff, Dad. Okay, the kid's cute. Anyway, let's uh, let's meet Sam Co. This does not bode well. Here we are. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. <laughs> Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Poor girl, by the way. Hi, hi. Hey, hey. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. <laughs> know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. 
Honest. Yeah, right. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. You don't we're say. We're city spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Yeah, don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Oh, that's simple. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. Ask so... If you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. Alright, so that's Sam Co. And one thing we can do... Okay. All right, so... We've got some options, and we've got some things that we need to do, so... Alright, so what we're gonna do... Alright, one last thing we need to do... Take care of some more selling... The usual crap. And then we're pro and then we're gonna call it because we're starting to get up against it. Hitting on an hour. But hey, we got a new we got a new artifact and we saved Moara's ass. And which gives us a a legit opportunity at getting a new crew member. Which is always nice. We got some shops down here. I wonder if anybody's actually open at night. I don't think Reliant Medical is going to be uh, interested in buying my shit. Yeah, yeah, it is. Wonder if I can sell my shit at CJ's. CJ's is always open. No matter what you need, when you need it, I'm here. Yeah, sure thing. Take a look. Well, I pretty much broke the trade authority kiosk, so... All right. Thanks for stopping in. I can always use the business. All right, CJ's is a food store. Fine. I'll remember this stuff eventually. You know what? I think we're pretty much done here. I'll do the selling uh, off camera so you guys don't have to deal with that crap. 
we're just going to call it here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in and to help this channel grow. This has been Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer. This is Starfield. I'll see you all next time.